Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this film I'd like to show you how to put in a fillet and now we're going to do a, uh, a shell feature and from that shell feature we're going to show you some of the capabilities that uh, SolidWorks has in regard to managing your model and making sure that the features come in order. We talk about the feature manager tree. The way the feature manager tree works is that everything is kind of built on the basic strut, our first feature. Side holes are built on the basic strut. We can put the side holes in before we actually have some sort of solid there to put the holes in there. And that's going to be the same with the fillets when we add that here and the shell feature too. So let's do this. And one thing to keep in mind about all these features too that, that we put in here, that we can change these dimensions around a little bit. And uh, as we mentioned before, simply by clicking on the model. So, let's go to our fillet. We've talked about the, some of the features. We did the extrude boss base. We also did the extruded cut. Now we're going to go to the fillet feature. We're going to click on that. I think the default setting is a tenth of an inch. Uh, you may have that. I set it at a half an inch because I was playing with this a little bit earlier. Let's go ahead and do a half an inch. We're going to keep all the other settings as uh, default settings and we're just going to go to our model. We're going to click on the model, certain uh, portions of that model, and we're going to make fillets out of that. Or a fillet is around. I think uh, the round is something that's on the outside of fillets, uh, anything that's on the inside. So anyways, we're going to click on this edge and what it will do is it will give us a preview of that edge. Orange is a pre-selection. Where is the selection? When our mouse is right over that, it turns orange. Yellow is a is a pre-selection. It kind of shows you what a preview of that is going to be. And what we're going to do is we're going to select all these edges except for the edges associated with this area over here. We're going to keep that open so we can do a shell feature on it. Another way of doing it, we don't necessarily have to click any edges. We can click on a face. It'll fill it all the way around that face. And we're going to click on these last two edges. And we're going to call that done. Green check mark. So there's our fillets. And just like uh, everything else in uh, SolidWorks, if you click on that feature or an edge that defines that feature, it gives you the ability to change that, uh, that fillet. As we just clicked on the fillet, we're going to change that from a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And if it doesn't update for you, you go to the update button on the menu pull down and you're in pretty good shape. Now it looks like that fillet's kind of beginning to interfere with this hole, so let's go ahead and move that hole out of the way a little bit. Instead of a half an inch, let's make that maybe two inches. And that didn't update, so let's go to the update button, go to the traffic light up in the pull down menu. And you know what, even though, even though these holes with the design and was have it in the middle, I don't think I like that really right now, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. If I go into that uh, sketch, if we redefine that sketch, remember how we had the, the center line at uh, the midpoint of the top and the bottom? Let's go ahead and change that a little bit. If we take out that uh, that midpoint sketch relation, everything turns blue here. And if we just put a dimension in there in that, is that a two and a quarter? Maybe make that two inches, and go to update. Puts a little bit closer to the back. It may not necessarily be the end tip, and now you can see that dimension in there. Let's go ahead and put it in three and make it a little bit closer to the front. Oops. Three. There we go. Go to update. That's a little bit closer to the front. Again, that doesn't look like it's quite in the right spot. Let's go to two and a half and we'll call that done. Go to update. That kind of shows you a little bit of the capabilities here. And if we wanted to, we can take that sketch and maybe redefine that with the new face that's here if you want to have it centered in that face. But we can save that for another uh, another film. So fill it too. We're just going to make that, uh, I'll call that side fill it. And let's add our shell. So go to the shell feature. We talked about extrude boss space, extrude cut. We want to fill it. Now we're going to go to shell. And let's make our shell thickness um, maybe 0.3 inches, 3 tenths of an inch. Click on that face. And go to, go to check mark. Again, we're going to keep all the default settings. What we do is we define the thickness of the shell to be 0.3 inches. And we clicked on the face and go to green chuck mark. And what it's going to do is, and it's going to do it quite literally, is going to shell everything it runs into. If it runs into another feature, it puts a, uh, a shell around that and it goes around that. So this may not necessarily be in the intent of these holes. What I really intended to do is have these holes come through this wall and then pick up again on this other side without necessarily having a tube go through it. So let's do this. We're going to keep that shell name 
instead of shell 2 we're going to call that shell 1 now just change that real quick because yours is probably shell 1 too Here we're shell number 1 as opposed to shell number 2 and let's take our feature manager tree and move some of these things around let's take our side holes and we can do this remember I was talking about the feature manager tree in the previous film feature manager tree features all the things that are in order in other, in other, in other words we start with the basic strid went to the side holes second and then the side fill at third we couldn't really do the side holes first because the basic strid wasn't there you can't put holes in there where there isn't space when there isn't uh, some sort of solid associated with it although we could have put the side fillets in before we put the holes in so we could take that and move that to just below basic strid does it really change anything in the model right now but it does if we take our rollback bar and you can access this rollback bar by going to the very bottom of our feature manager tree and roll that back you can see that the fillets are actually now put in before the holes if we scroll that down before the holes we can put the holes in there second and then the shell will be in uh, the holes will be third and then our shell will be number four so let's take our shell and actually move that in front of the side holes we can do that by moving in here now you got to be careful when you do this because sometimes you can establish relationships with these features and the sketches associated with these features that may not allow you to reorder it so you do have to be careful with that and if that happens then you have to rethink about your rethink your design before you uh, make edits to it so there we have it now this is a little bit closer to what I'd like to do I'd like to have these holes after the shell feature so that the holes are not uh, sitting inside of tubes are actually uh, you know within the walls and not beyond those walls so that looks pretty close to what I want one thing I want to do with the shell command is I could either click on the shell itself and I'm going to make that a half an inch instead of three tenths of an inch go to rebuild that's getting pretty close to what I'm looking for okay join me for the next film